Okay people, Sean Stewart here back at the Organized Chaos Carpentry Shop. Today we're talking about not stripping screws. On this channel we're about getting down to the basics in the trades. Stuff trades people wish they knew before they got started and stuff to help you around your home. I sometimes take advantage of how long I've been holding a drill in my hand. My dad bought me my first battery drill when I was 10 years old and so I've been using a drill for quite a long time. But I was working with a student the other day and it would seem that it was his first time holding a drill and he immediately was stripping the screw. Just like basically every other student that I've worked with that first started with a drill, actually not pretty much, every single student. And in fact, I was working with some adults not that long ago and they were all stripping the screws out as, as they were going. I go through a lot of driver bits and so, Today we're talking about how not to strip a screw and I, I built a large screw and a large bit in order to demonstrate this. And so I'm going to throw this uh, screw in the vise. And the first thing I want to talk about is choosing the right bit. So if I stuck this in here, it's actually pretty loose so this wouldn't be the right bit but I wanted to, I wanted to make it a little bit uh, undersized for being able to show you a little bit better. So if you're taking a, a deck screw, for example, they're more, most likely going to be a Red Robertson or a number two square, depending on uh, what continent you're in, I guess. Um, or if you're taking uh, a drywall screw, it's going to be a number two Phillips or star if you, uh, if you want. And so the first thing you wanna know, uh, do is make sure you have the right bit. Because if you take a, a green Robertson or number uh, one and you put it in a deck screw, it's going to turn, uh, but it's going to be a lot easier to strip out because it is too small of a circle or a square, uh, just like with our, our giant uh, set here. First step is making sure you have the right bit. If your bit is uh, too loose, you may still have the right bit, but you might have already worn that bit out from stripping it out too many times just like that uh, bit I was using at the beginning which is this one I can just spin it in there it is garbage no good throw it out and so the next thing I want to talk about is your angle so even if you have a good bit if you go on too much of an angle it's just going to it's gonna strip it's not going to stay in there uh, it's going to do what is called camming out, which is an engine term. Uh, it's another way of saying stripping it. Uh, but it, what it means is it popping out of the hole that the screw is, uh, the bit is supposed to be in. So it pops out over top, and that's that click you hear, is when, when it goes up and over the, the side and then back in, over in, over in. That's a little clicking you hear when you're stripping out a screw. So the first thing you gotta do is make sure you're on the right angle. You wanna be perfectly perpendicular to the head of the bit. So even if uh, your bit is in the piece of wood, say my piece of wood was right here, you don't go perpendicular to the piece of wood. You gotta follow the head of the screw. And that way, it'll stay in, the, in, your, in your screw better. And the next thing is you have to make sure you're seated all the way in the, in the screw. And so if you have a loose bit, uh, and because you've already stripped out the screw a little bit or whatever. If you're seated all the way in there pushing hard, it's still likely going to go in for you. If you're pushing straight into the bit, uh, then it's gonna work for you. But you go on an angle, even if you're pushing hard, it's gonna be, it's gonna strip out on you. So pushing hard, straight perpendicular to the screw, and that's gonna get you a long ways. Okay, so now that we've got the fundamentals dealt with, I'm going to throw in a few screws uh, right beside that one that I stripped out just to demonstrate. We want to be making sure that we are perfectly perpendicular to the head of the bit or parallel to the screw. We have our bit perfectly seated into the screw and let's give it a shot. Armed with that knowledge, it's not like you're never going to strip a screw again, but you're going to go a lot further. The key is not to get too frustrated, because it's going to happen. Be patient with it, you're, you're learning too. And so keep practicing, you've got thousands of screws to put in in your life, and you just keep going, 
and it'll get easier. If you're stopping by for the first time, or you haven't already, and you would like to, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you back in the shop soon. Are you getting those strip, those screws popping out? Oh shoot, I probably was, but I wasn't paying attention. Yeah. <laughs> the screws are actually bending in this wood. Oh, it makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Um, are they in there? Oh yeah, for sure. They're okay, we're gonna have to do that again.